Hi, this is Matt for HowToGizmo.com. Thanks for checking out my video. Um, today I'm going to start the very first video on how to build a quad. Um, this quad that I'm trying to make is basically a cheap copy of the DJI F450. Um, I'm going to achieve it by basically using this frame I've got here. It's the Dynatone Q450. So what I'm going to go and do is basically start the assembly, but before I can start this assembly, I'm going to have to go and do a tiny bit of soldering. Okay, I'm in my garage and I'm going to start doing the soldering. So I've got a, an XT60 connector here and then two bits of cable that I'm going to make a fly lead up with. Um, that fly lead will then get soldered onto some of the gold contact points on this main board here. And then I'm basically going to solder on these speed controllers onto each gold contact around the board as well. Right, so once I've completed this bit of soldering, um, basically this will enable me to power all my motors um, using this board. So not only is this part of the frame, it's actually a power distribution board. Now on my first mini quad, um, I actually had to make a wire harness that would take basically the power from the battery um, to each motor basically, um, that was a bit messy. And eventually I brought a separate little sort of um, board that would distribute the power. But the nice thing obviously with this quadcopter is it's built into the frame so it's nice and slick. Now one of the things I didn't like about the frame is the copper pads, sorry, the gold pads that you actually um, solder your wires onto um, might be a little bit weak but it's only a very cheap board so you can't really complain. Okay just before I start the assembly of the frame I'm going to do one more small job and that's basically to put a small blob of glue on each one of the contact points to help protect the points. Now this is something I've chosen to do. Uh, people don't usually do it, it's just me being me. Um, I'm gonna do it by basically getting a glue gun and just say scutting a small blob on each one of the contacts. Okay, with that now complete, um, I can just basically peel off any of the dried glue and move on to actually attaching the legs to this part of the frame. So basically that's now this part of the frame complete. So I've basically got four speed controllers soldered on with a fly lead and um, this also acts as the power distribution board so it's great, it's nice and simple. So what have I got left in the box? I've got the top part of the frame and I've got two sets of legs. Uh, they're colour coded red and white so you can choose to have, say, your white at the front and then your red for back. When, so when you're flying it around, you can see which way around the helicopter is. It's nice and, uh, nice and simple. Um, I think also there should be two packs of screws in the box. Uh, the long ones you use for your motors and the short ones you use for the frame. Now this frame is so super simple to make. It's uh, pretty unbelievable. I mean, the most difficult part is supposed to do the soldering but the assembly is just basically, um, there's two screws that go into each leg and then there's four screws that go into the top of each leg. I'm not gonna do that part in this video because I wanna leave the center section open um, so I can put some more other bits inside. So basically I'm just gonna flip it over and then put two screws into each one of the legs. So that's the screws in, so I'm going to flip it back over and you can see the quad is really taking shape now. Now this is the top plate that I'm not going to screw on for the moment, uh, just because I want to be able to get access to the below it, so I can put some other bits in there. Um, so that's the end of this part, uh, please look out for the next part and thanks for watching.